More non-essential businesses had to close their doors at 5 o'clock tonight, now closed, as the governor issued an executive order that went into effect. WFMY News 2's Zadoria Chumba is live in downtown Greensboro right now, where many businesses had already closed their doors. Adoria. Local and state officials are trying to stay ahead of coronavirus with those stay at home orders. This just as Governor Roy Cooper's executive order went into effect at 5 p.m. just a few minutes ago. Now with the barbershop sign right there, you can see many businesses here are now closed. Businesses like movie theaters, gyms, nail shops, hair salons and barbershops will stay closed for the next 30 days. Many businesses had already started closing as early as last week. Many parking lots and shopping centers now empty. Business owners who stayed open today try to get in as much clients as possible. But now, like many across the country, they're left to face the uncertainty. I wish they had given us a little bit more time. We hope that we'll be able to get back to work soon and service our people who so much depend on us. I am in that vulnerable category and uh, I'm just so, I'm afraid. Businesses considered essential stay open while businesses like restaurants must do only takeout or delivery. I get a lot of tattoos, so I know tattoo shops have to close up, which is uh, a sad thing. Um, I'm just hoping I'd, it'll probably eventually come to us, but for now, we're going to stay open for as long as we can. Again, the governor's executive order went into effect at 5 p.m. Non-essential businesses must now be closed and stay so for the next 30 days. Uh, folks involved in grooming and fitness fall under that category. Uh, barbershops and, uh, sorry, barbering schools and beauty schools must now move their services and studies to online learning.